Hi again. I'm joined by Outreach Coordinator Erica Farrington, and we're going to talk about how all of us can help ensure the accessibility of our digital content. We're going to discuss our standards and guidelines, uh, how we can improve them with our Digital Center of Excellence, and what we're starting up this year with the Accessibility Champions Program. So standards and guidelines, this, they're what we have to do, the policies that all state organizations must follow. And uh, DSGA, as an office within uh, the Georgia Technology Authority, we're empowered to provide governance in all things technology, and that includes digital accessibility. You can find our state standards and guidelines on our PSG website, and we'll drop that link in the chat. Now, the foundation of our state standards are two sets of policies or guidelines, the first being Section 508. This is uh, an amendment to the Rehabilitation Act of 1973. It's a requirement for federal agencies to ensure that technology is accessible and usable by individuals with disabilities. And then Section 08, 508 maps to and defined by the guidelines in WCAG, the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines. And WCAG has worked as working groups and is continuously updated because our knowledge is always growing on how to improve experiences for you know, all the new and interesting ways we interact with digital content and, and those change, but what we can't change is our effort to provide equitable access to all public services. And we don't have consistent tabbing order or alt text or descriptive link text, assistive technology can end up be providing a, a chaotic information and that creates an unfriendly user experience at best and a denial of services at worst. So here you can see standards when followed and applied well can be a beautiful thing like these beach house resorts in the Maldives that are contributing to a consistent, lovely visitor experience. By the way, this is the standard hotel in the Maldives if y'all need some summer vacation plans. <laughs> Um, the way we comply with accessibility standards and guidelines in GovHub goes all the way from the code base to published content. We routinely, routinely run accessibility checkers and engage in audits to keep our code base up to date with accessibility guidelines. And we make those issues transparent through the Georgia Analytics Program dashboard. Uh, if you're a member agency of the program, those accessibility issues are reported to you regularly. And you have access to Site Improve, which gives you guidance on how to remediate any issues. You can also see our progress on the issues we're working on in our knowledge base. So the bottom line is this, accessibility is for all. For now, for the future, everyone benefits directly because accessible content improves usability for all. So we're in agreement, right? Standards and guidelines are the right thing to do and they're included in our governance of all state digital properties, but standards aren't static. They adapt as we learn and as we do better. So I'll tag team and Erica now to talk about how we can do that. Thank you, Yen. Now that you know more about what we have to do, I'm going to be talking to you a bit about what we should be doing about accessibility. One way that we can make sure that we are following standards, guidelines, and best practices for accessibility is by working together. A great way to support each other is through the Digital Center, Center of Excellence, sometimes referred to as the DCOE. The DCOE works to improve Georgia's presence on all state-supported digital platforms. Currently, there are two committees that make up the DCOE, Content and Social Media, and the GovHub Advisory Committee. Each of these committees consists of a statewide community of professionals who contribute to the state's digital standards and guidelines and share knowledge and experiences to resolve challenges and promote growth across the state's digital landscape. With the successful launch of the first two committees, we are excited for the addition of a new committee. Accessibility. For the Accessibility Committee, we're looking for members from government and private sectors who promote accessibility and equal access to digital content. The purpose of the committee will be to raise awareness for accessibility and provide education on best practices that can make websites more user-friendly. The committee will meet quarterly via Zoom. Meetings will focus on best practices, setting guidelines, and providing education on accessibility through webinars. The Accessibility Committee will also have a group in Microsoft Teams where members can gather to discuss topics in between quarterly meetings. And there are perks to being part of the DCOE. It's a great way to network and connect with other members, share best practices, and continue their accessibility education. Increased education and awareness of accessibility helps provide the best user experience and improve access to state services for all Georgians. 
Yen, I'm gonna pass it back to you to tell everyone what we're doing now for accessibility. Thanks, Erica. Uh, so I'm excited to introduce our new Accessibility Champions program. Uh, when you think of a champion, you might think of something like this, right? Uh, there's a winning side and a losing side and all the effort and training to become a champion results in, in that glory for only yourself or your team. Uh, well, we don't, we don't mean that when we mean cha say champion. This is more of what we mean by champion, that we're pooling others up with us, that we're all in this together, helping one another. Now, Miriam Webster defines champions as one that does battle for another's rights or honor, or to act as a supporter order, or defender. Um, so how do we support and defend uh, as part of our everyday work? Uh, the, well, the Accessibility Champions Program will allow us to share in that responsibility of ensuring compliance with accessibility with both websites and applications. Uh, what we're going to do is ask, ask each state organization to identify a champion who is able to provide guidance and ensure compliance throughout the process of digital service delivery, from examining policies around the services themselves, uh, to procuring work, to writing content. Um, we'll have training to learn about digital accessibility and ongoing webinars uh, through the DCOE to stay up to date, and we'll connect champions to the resources available to measure compliance such as accessibility audits or joining the Georgia Analytics Program. And we'll support each other in this as we support the rights of those who require accessible services and information. Now, that, that sounds like a big job and, and yes, it can be. That's, that's all the more reason we need to share in this work together. And so many of us can take on some responsibility. So if you're wondering, how can I make an impact on the accessibility of our sites? Let me ask you, um, do you have interactive applications anywhere on your site? Um, if yes, then you have the responsibility to learn about digital accessibility to ensure that you're in compliance. Uh, do you shape organizational policies? And if you can say yes to that, yes, you're in a great position to influence and then promote the compliance of accessibility guidelines. Uh, do you procure new services? Uh, you can make an impact from the very start of service delivery from how important accessibility is to the entire project. Uh, do you develop applications? Yes, 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 and absolutely. You can follow the WCAG guidelines and directly optimize the code. Um, and finally, do you create or publish digital content? Uh, please know that you can make such a difference in how content is consumed and understood by people so many different abilities. And if you don't know a lot about digital accessibility, we have the Digital Academy. Uh, we're that's part of the course includes foundational knowledge of how to incorporate accessibility checks into your team. We're registering for our next session um, and we'll put that link in the chat. You can learn about all the topics we cover in the Digital Academy. There's, there's a lot more than accessibility there, including understanding your audience, learning for the web. In addition to that, you'll be, we'll be developing a new training track just for accessibility champions, which will be a mix of resources and webinars and open forums for us all to support each other. So here are the takeaways we want to leave you with. First, uh, stay informed on how accessible your digital properties are. Join the Georgia Analytics Program if your agency isn't already a member, and if then you'll have access to site improve that identifies your gaps in accessibility compliance and helps in closing those gaps. Get involved in the DCOE. Uh, join a committee or attend the upcoming webinar. Now, if you're called to be accessibility champion by agency, or if you want to step up, uh, please reach out to us. And lastly, if you're not a the big C champion, uh, please consider how you can still champion accessibility in the role and in the space and in the, the influence that you have. So on behalf of Erica and myself, thanks so much for listening. Uh, we hope you enjoy the rest of Club Talks.